Hi guys, my name is Uffe Hansen. I'm here with our RH750 base head. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the main features of the 750. So if you want to have a little more detail on some of the specific features, please have a look at some of the more specific videos. RH750 builds on our base M2.0 concept. And what that means is that it includes all the different features that you will typically find on all the base amps out there. So all the regular features that you come to expect from a base amp. But in addition to that, it has a few extra tweaks uh, that you normally don't see on base amps. So from a top level, that is uh, in its tone shaping capabilities, its built-in chromatic tuner, and the three presets that allows you to store your sound and instantly recall it inside the amp. But let's have a closer look at the front panel and I'm sure you'll get the idea. The general preamp on the 750 is identical to the one of our Crown Jewel, the Blacksmith. So if you're familiar with that amp, you'll know, uh, you'll get, get the entire idea and already know uh, most of what I can explain here. Starting here on the left hand side, we have the instrument input or bass amp input. The input as on any other TC bass amp covers both active and passive pickup. So it has enough gain for any instrument out there basically. Next to the gain section, we have the four tone controls. Now these are, when you look at them immediately, they are just regular four standard tone controls that, like you know from most bass amps out there. But in fact, if you start using the shift button, you can uh, turn every uh, one of the four bands into a semi-parametric EQ as well. What that means is basically that you can change where each of the four tone controls grab your bass sound. More details on that in the tone control video. Next to the uh, tone control section, uh, just above here, we have the integrated tuner. Uh, it instantly shows you whether you're in tune or not, so you can always kind of tell what's going on. And if you hit this mute button up here, the bass tone control, as you can tell, turns into a little more detail on the tuner information. So that's the chromatic tuner. Next to the tone controls, uh, on the right hand side, we have SpectroComp. Uh, and SpectroComp is something that we developed originally for the RH450. Um, it's found on all our different bass amps and it is essentially a, a three-band compressor. So what that means is that it compresses the lows and the mids and the highs of your sound completely independently. Uh, in practical life, in real life, that turns into a much more transparent compression that actually helps you tighten up your sound and get the snappiness of the compressor that you want without completely killing your dynamics, which as you probably know, most compressors will do uh, on your bass. So that's SpectroComp. Next to SpectroComp, we have Tube Tone. Tube Tone is also something that we grabbed out of the RS450. It is a um, full-on recreation of both a tube preamp, but also the power amp section of a true uh, tube amp. It ranges all the way from just a subtle touch of the tonal uh, characteristics that you know from the tube amps and all the way up to regular overdrive. So it's a very, very powerful knob. So that's tube tone right here. Below SpectroComp, if you hit the shift button, we have something called tweeter tone. Tweeter tone is essentially a more intelligent version of uh, the tweeter control that you're used to having on the backside of your cabinet. So in short, what we try to do is move the knob from the backside of the cabinet and up to the front panel of the bass amp, allowing you full control of exactly how much uh, HF or high end you want on your bass sound. So that's tweeter tone right here. Finally, but uh, very, very importantly, uh, we have the three presets up here. And basically what they allow you to do is to store anything that you see on the light rings. So any sound that you have dialed up with your tone controls, spectrocom, tube tone, can be stored right here by pressing and holding for a sec. When they blink, it's been stored, and now I can recall something different and go back to what I just stored. Extremely powerful feature that, of course, is remote controllable through the uh, RC4 foot switch uh, with the 750 as well. Finally, over here, the final knob is the master level that controls the 750 watts uh, that it puts out. So that's the quick overview of the RH750.